Hi, everybody. We are excited to nominate our Paul Killing Award. My name is Mrs. King, eighth grade science teacher. And I'm Ms. Stanton, seventh grade science teacher. And our student we're nominated is very excited in science. She has a heart to be adventurous, to keep searching for answers, and is truly a great candidate for our Paul Killing Award. So we would like to nominate Divyanshi. Meharotra. Thank you. Congratulations. Great job. The 2022 Paul Killian Award from Fetty Middle School goes to Zariel Jasper. Zariel is an eighth grader enrolled in both my science class as well as my Project Lead the Way auto robotics class. She is a highly curious and deeply respectful young lady. Zariel is also an incredible problem solver. In robotics class, when I assign a coding lesson, within just a few minutes, Zariel approaches me and says, what's next? I have given her many, many extra coding challenges, which she has solved and is now teaching the other students in the class to solve those same challenges. Zariel embodies the spirit of science because of her creativity, her curiosity, and her problem-solving skills. I have no doubt that one day she will be designing and programming the latest and greatest robots the world has ever seen. Congratulations, Zariel. I'm proud of you. You have earned this award. Hi, I'm Mr. Garcia from Haskell Middle School, and I am giving the Paul Killian Science Legacy Award to Ivan Cervantes Rios. The reason Ivan's getting this award is because he exemplifies the characteristics of a scientist. He looks at problems from several viewpoints, he accepts challenges, and, and he learns from the failures that come with challenges, he uses those failures to inform his next steps to then complete the challenge. Um, he's always looking for ways to improve and grow as a student. Um, he um, is interested in engineering. He's even gone as far as applying and getting accepted to the Sato School in Long Beach for science. And uh, congratulations, Ivan. It's been a pleasure being your teacher. My name is David Lin Sangin, uh, eighth grade science teacher here at Ross Middle School, and our nominee for the Paul Killian Award is uh, Nathaniel Marcroft. Nathaniel Marcroft has a great passion for science, a great interest in science. He's heavily involved in any sort of class discussion that we might have um, about scientific concepts. Um, he enters uh, competitions having to do with science. He was in the robotics competition here at the district. Um, he was also uh, he also won gold in the junk box tower um, event for STEM Olympics here at Ross. And so, um, just. Uh, a love for science and um, that was p what Paul Killian was all about and so Nathaniel Marcroft is our winner of the Paul Killian Award here at Ross uh, a very deserving winner Nathaniel Marcroft congratulations you deserve it hi my name is Mark Shin I'm one of the science teachers here at Tesloff Academy today I'd like to congratulate Jayun Park in receiving the Paul Killian Science Legacy Award Jayun exhibits several qualities of a scientist but particularly the ability to consider a solution to a problem from several perspectives, those of his own and also from his peers. I've also seen Jayun face challenges resulting in failure, but witnessed his openness to guidance from his teacher and willingness to move forward from the failures, which are all vital parts of being a scientist. Jayun, congratulations in receiving this award. Hello, my name is Nita Song. I'm a science teacher from Whitney High School. Out of several students that are highly qualified, Maximo was chosen as a Paul Killian Award winner for Whitney High School because throughout the year, he actively participated in opportunities to engage in more science. I can see that he has a genuine interest in science from his zeal to get involved in STEM-related activities at schools such as NGS Club, middle school STEM Olympics and STEM club. Whenever I offer anything, whenever we offer anything that's STEM related, Maximo is there. Maximo constantly looks for ways to improve and grow as a STEM student. He motivates his peers to do the same. Congratulations, Maximo. 